Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well and having a great day so far. If you did not watch my video, my first video of the year, I actually forget what it's called, probably 2023 goals or something like that. I mentioned in there that I want to learn a new skill every month. And for the month of January, it was sourdough. So my hope was that I could start my own starter and then by the end of the month be actually using it to bake bread. But the more I learn about it, the more I realize that it tastes a little bit more than that. You can't just make a starter and then start baking bread immediately. It takes a while to um, like for it to mature and just figure everything out. So I actually tried making a starter like probably two times this month and I have done it previously. And for some reason it just did not seem to be working out for me or maybe I was just not patient enough. I don't know what it was, but um, anyways, that did not work out for me. I, I really hope to one day try it still. Like maybe in the summertime, our house is really cold during the winter and so I feel like it might just not be the best time to make a starter. So anyways, I have a friend from church who so kindly gave me a bit of her sourdough starter. She has been doing it for quite a while and she's just really good at it. So she had a mature starter, so she let me have a little bit. And so I'm learning with that. It is currently the last day of January and I am just working on making my first loaf now. Um, so it's actually currently in the oven. I'm going to, after this whole intro, I'm going to show you the whole process and stuff, but I don't have very high expectations. And if you have any sort of tips, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. I am just really excited to be able to start baking with sourdough and just learn all about it. It is just so fascinating to just learn all like the history of sourdough and just how to use it and different things like that. So I'm just so excited to be taking you on this journey with me and we're gonna figure it out as we go. Let's just get into the baking the loaf part. I pre-filmed this all the night before because I was starting my dough so it could rise overnight. So the recipe I was using is supposed to be a pretty good beginner sourdough recipe. Um, so I needed a quarter cup of active sourdough starter and one and two thirds cup of filtered warm water. I mixed that all together and then added two teaspoons of salt and the recipe called for four and a half cups of flour. I'm not sure if I added it all. I just um, added enough to make a pretty nice dough. Sourdough bread dough is definitely stickier than other bread dough I've worked with, so it takes a bit of getting used to in that way. But once I had it all thoroughly mixed through, I covered it with a towel and let it rest for 30 minutes. And then I tried my hand at doing some stretching and folding. I honestly have no idea what, I, what I'm doing, but I had been watching quite a few videos of other people doing it, so I kind of had the general idea. After that, I put it into the bowl and covered it with a towel again, and then that's when I let it rest for overnight, I guess. So it was about eight to nine hours, 
and once I woke up I took it back out of the bowl and did some more stretching and folding and kind of just shaped it into a round loaf <laughs> don't judge me too hard I am just I'm just doing the best I know how <laughs> I let it rest for another 10 minutes and then I just put this towel into the bowl that it had been in and floured it nicely and then placed the loaf inside of that to rise for 30 to 60 minutes. I let mine rise for an hour because of it just being so cold. I don't know if I overdid it or not but that's what I did for my first loaf. Um, and then once that was done, I had the oven preheated to 450 and then I placed it into my baking dish i don't have a dutch oven so this was the best i could do i googled it and it's supposed to work the same so <laughs> i did like a tiny bit of i don't know if you call it scoring i don't know if it's called scoring if you do it with a big butcher knife but that's what i did and then i baked it covered for 30 minutes once that was done i baked it uncovered for 20 minutes and then i took it out of the baking dish and put it back into the oven for another 10 minutes Okay, time to take it out of the oven. I think I'm going to just put it on a towel. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely flat. So I'm not sure if like what exactly that means if I let it rise or let it sit for too long because I let it rise overnight. But it was cold, so I wasn't worried that it would like rise super quick. So it was only like eight, eight or nine hours. Um, yeah, we're gonna play around with it. I'm gonna cut it open and see what it looks like inside. I'm gonna cut it open, see <laughs> what we got. Okay, I'm just gonna laugh. Um, it's very dense. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was probably a bit of a fail. I'm still going to try to eat it. Um, but yeah, that didn't turn out too well. <laughs> Might try it again. I put a little bit of raw honey on and it's actually pretty decent. Um, it definitely doesn't taste very nice and fluffy, but it works. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is just immediately start a second loaf and I'll kind of like talk you through it a little bit more um, and just see if it would work out better. That way I can keep a bit of a better eye on it. I was tempted to delete all the footage of this loaf <laughs> and start over, but I decided to, you know, just keep it real because it doesn't turn out on perfectly on the first try, so that's okay. We're gonna practice. Here goes round two. I've got 350 grams of filtered warm water, 60 grams of active sourdough starter, And we're just going to mix that into the water. I also have nine grams of salt. And 500 grams of flour that I'm just gonna slowly add. I'm going to just let it rest for 30 minutes. The dough seems so sticky, which I am not used to. Like with normal bread, you wouldn't leave it quite so sticky. But I decided for this loaf, I'm gonna do it exactly like the recipe. Somebody on Instagram that I follow, um, she 
said that this recipe that I'm using is a good beginner recipe. So I'm going to just do it exactly like the recipe says. It did give like measurements like it said a quarter cup of starter, one and two thirds cup of water, four and a half cups flour and two teaspoons of salt. Then beside it has the amount of grams that it needs. So I just went by the grams because it's never quite the same as the cup measurements. And I have the scale, so I just decided to do it exactly like that. So we're gonna see how that works out, but we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. I have it just on the oven right there because it's still a little warm here from the other loaf that I was baking, so crossing my fingers i really want this to turn out so bad okay it's been half an hour got some flour out on the counter and now we're going to do some stretch and folds <laughs> i think that's what you call them see if i I've, I've seen quite a few videos lately of people doing this so i feel confident that i'll be able to do it right basically i think you just Pull and press it back into the middle. Do it on all sides. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time, I think. <laughs> okay I'm going to put it back in the bowl now and let it rise for eight hours oh my word you guys this stuff is so sticky I should have wet my hands a bit better but I'm gonna let it sit for eight hours Okay, it's been rising for eight hours now, and this one looks so much more promising. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like bubbles in there, so I have a good feeling about it this time. Um, I still think it maybe could have risen a little higher, which I'm not sure why it didn't, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to do some stretching and folding here on the counter. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. That is so much more promising. I would really just like to stress that I still have no idea what I'm doing at this point. I was really second guessing myself with how thin or like sticky the dough was. It was just, yeah, super sticky and kind of annoying to work with. And I feel like maybe it wasn't supposed to be that sticky. I'm not sure. But either way, we just had to make it work at this point. Um, I think maybe next time I'm going to bake it in an actual loaf pan and then maybe wait for the round loaves until I'm a little bit more experienced, but we shall see. We're going to keep practicing. Um, this one did rise a little bit more in the middle than the other one, so I was happy about that.
moment of truth. Ooh, that one looks a lot better. <laughs> Lots of air bubbles. It's the next day now. It was pretty late by the time my loaf was done, so um, I just decided to finish it today, but I actually had avocado toast from the loaf I made last night and as you could see it was a lot more bubbly. Um, it was still pretty dense, so I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's because it's so cold. Like, it's literally just been so cold here and our house has like old windows and doors. And so, yeah, I've been feeling a lot of cold air in coming in and this is this has just been like such a cold week so it's probably not the best time to start my sourdough um but let me show you where i'm keeping my starter this is where i let the bread dough rise so we have like that one big register there that's kind of like our main source of heat so we just have one register <laughs> so like other parts of the house get pretty cold but i was letting the bread rise on this chair here and it's pretty toasty um, but I don't know if I should have let it rise longer or what. I know that the starter I have is really mature, maybe almost too mature, if that's even a thing. Um, so yeah. Anyways, it's just going to be a process of trial and error, but I'm up for the challenge and I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm, I know you're going to be seeing me doing more sourdough on here, like once I can get it figured out. I was hoping to have it a bit more figured out on this video because it was my January skill of the month, I guess. But that did not happen, so that's okay. I think I just had way too high of expectations. So yeah, we're gonna keep playing around with it. We're gonna keep practicing, learning new things. I've learned so much already, and I'm just excited to keep learning more techniques and things and ways of doing sourdough. And hopefully one day I can master it and go on to other things like cinnamon rolls and just other cool sourdough things. Um, so I'm just really excited to keep practicing with that. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't like perfect, but it can't always turn out perfect, right? That wouldn't even be realistic. So I'm just going to put it out there, even though it didn't turn out great. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress and hopefully we can have a bit more of a better sourdough video at some point. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time.